Hi, Mark Savage here. Welcome to my channel. Over 400 video. What's on today's video? Fitting a DVR to my Tiger. I've fitted through already. Just a quick one of how to do it on here. An update on my Jag wheels. That's been hell, just finished. And an apology for me moaning about bandits and so on and saying, won't light your world on fire. That was hard to say. Anyway, let's get on with the video. Anyway, what we're doing today. Now I've done this a few times now. These cameras, they really are the nuts. And this is the third bike I'm gonna be fitting one to. And I've gotta be honest, this is a different one again. I've um, finding it hard to find a seller. Um, they're all in China, so you know that when they say like UK, and they always come up as a local place, um, you know, something big like Manchester or Newcastle, and Basildon for God's sake, and they're never there. And you buy it because it says quick local delivery, three days. And with this particular one I've just bought, he came up and said, um, oh, I've run out of stock. Do you want your money back? At least that was um, an honest way of saying that he's lying. Hmm. And it's from China. But it took two and a half weeks. And I've got it this morning. Um, the only one I've had that's really good took five days. The other one took even longer. And I've had a few people watch the other two videos. Links will be around the end. Um, say to me, Marky, um, where'd you get them from? And to you, it's just pick and mix. But say this one, it's not dissimilar to the first one I bought, but I've got one of the square cameras with lights around it. Um, yeah, and I'm going to set up the same way on two bikes. Um, this one's a Tiger 800. You'll see that in a minute when I'm fitting it. But it'll be one at the back, one at the front. Now, the other two I fitted them to, which was the Triumph Trophy and the um, pan european they were lots of plastic and uh, they were quite difficult to run it all through and get it right on the tiger really isn't going to be difficult wow what a lovely sunny day it really isn't going to be difficult i'm going to put one under here and just trace the wire through and i'm going to put one here and again trace the wire through Batch under here, nice and easy to be honest with you. It really should be easy. Dog follows me, daft thing. At least you still follow someone. You know what, dementia dog? Now the first one I bought had a GPS with it, which I didn't connect, and had a little button that you could take pictures if need be. The last one I had had the same thing, and this one, no, doesn't actually come with hardly anything to be honest with you. And it was only £30, so that's not too bad. Same sort of price. It comes with a, a, uh, uh, a push bike clip, which I don't want. So I do seem to get it more and more basic. I'm going to pop a 32 gig card in. You have to buy that separately. Um, it shows them being outside, but I think if this gets wet, so it's going to go under my seat at the back, which if you watched my last video, I put in the back box on. There's a nice little place, I'm going to put it there. Bit of Velcro, stick it there. And then connect it. Now, don't just connect to the battery, you need to find a live. So I'm going to cheat again, I'm going to find a live to the back light, and that will then operate this. Once you turn the bike on, this will spark up, and you can keep it going for 30 seconds afterwards. I'm just going to test now which is which, so back and front. Now, on the first one, did they were really good. They were 1080, brilliant. On the last one I had, it said 1080 and 720, and they look like these two here. Someone commented more like 500 and 300. They were a little bit rubbish, if I'm honest with you, but it didn't take as much memory up, and it wasn't split screen. So I've got to see what this one comes up like. But 32 gig card should get me out of trouble. But there's no emergency button, so it's always recording, and the other one just let me know it's flashing. This one I won't know, but hey, I'll check it. So obviously I'm just going to uh, connect this in, connect to the battery and see which is which and I know which one to put on there. Oh, update on the Jag. A lot of you watched my Jag video um, about them bloody locking nuts. Um, today, yay, my wheel nuts came and these are 1.5, not the 2.0 I bought last time. So they're going to go on and they shouldn't snap. They're a lot, lot better. Just someone asked me, um, can you do an update of it? And someone asked me to show me drilling them in. I mean, why would I do that? There's lots of hard work and just see my arse in your face, which is not a good look. And he's here again. Now I got asked by a YouTuber for an update and he wished I'd have showed him how I drilled them out. Drill, bits. It's fucking hard work. There's nothing else I can say about it. This one I've managed to chip off. And this is your problem. This is what jams on. Anyway, let's have a look in there. And it ain't pretty. There's nothing else to be said about it. It's bloody horrible. But I'm drilling little holes 
and then it's slipping off and I'm getting angry with myself and I'm drilling slightly bigger holes and I'm getting a screwdriver I'm taking out all the metal chippings then a mallet and I'm whacking hell out of it and getting bits off but you might notice one, two, three, four and the other side's all done as well like I said, one side done, that's the last one of ten that I'm going to do I've got all the new nuts to do, back one should be easy I'm going to carry on with this um, I'm going to get a cup of tea off the wife I don't think so Looks like I'm making my own cup of tea and I'll get this one off and then I actually really should get the alloys done on here and the cam belt on this little baby Well, I did get a cup of tea The truth of it is Unless you've got many, many hours on your day off, go to a garage to get these five broken ones off. That was amazingly lucky. That was lucky-ish. And these were a complete dog's... Do you know what I mean? Look at that. And as I said, it's these parts here about the bush that seemed to jam it on. They were okay. That set I showed you I sent back. Stroppy eBay as well. But these have been a godsend. Heavy duty, really were worth it, and I've got off three of the hard ones. And now, I have the new one to go on. And that completes this. This one's probably the most cleanest and nicest one I've done, because I sort of got better as you go along. And then, torque wrench, always wanted one. 125 pounds pressure of foot torque, or yeah, 125. And put them back on again. And I said, this one I managed not to screw up too badly. So, I'm happy to say it goes on. Set it. 125. Get it all the way on. 125, believe you me, is a lot of torque. Bloody hell. God. There's the noise I was after. The noise and now <sighs> and here's the update. A little more turning, I'm knackered. Right, back to uh, my bikes. Anyway, I'm just gonna connect this up and then see what we get here. If you haven't got a spare battery lying around, then you just well you just connect it to your, your bike battery, wouldn't you? Um, I always check because the last one we'll do is connect all this up and find out it didn't work and you've just messed around. So connect the power in there. Put a live in here. Yeah, a little distinctive noise. They all do that. It is nice because you can hear that when you start the bike up. Right, what have I got here? Somebody say charge them up. My last one said keep it charged for a couple of hours. First one didn't, but it does keep the battery. Makes sense. So I'll leave it on here and I can recharge this battery because it's a big old battery. That's a massive battery. Anyway, what do I get? Well, there's the views. So let's uh, move them around and see what we get. There we go. That's not too bad. And what does that one look like? Further away. So that's the better quality one, isn't it? Further away means you're getting more information in it. Let's put them both side by side. Try and get the same picture. So there we go. So the square one will go on the back. And the other one will go on the front. So there we go. There's the view you're going to get. Um, looking down at my camera so you can still see me so the square one will go at the back and the other one at the front and I think that's not a bad view yeah the other one does look a bit white obviously I mean I made some balancing and stuff to go in there but that's what you're going to get and that's generally what you're going to see recording hopefully it won't be a crash but that's what they're there for so next let's get on with the fitting I'm happy with that so fitting when I first saw all these fuse boxes here I thought this is gonna be well easy just connect to one of these but it wasn't so I connected a live like I normally do to the rear light and there's it fitted there nicely so earth P 
power to backlight otherwise it would be on all the time and that's not what you want and there we have the front camera very very easy on this bike as I said it would be just drilled it in two little holes the pilot holes and then connect it there and then run the wire along with the bike to the recorder the back one nicely mounted here and the wire tripped up there I did drill a hole but I found it easy just to put it there I want to watch the other ones how I fitted them they really are really easy and now you turn ignition on on it comes and you get your views which is a bit bit light here today but there you go you get your views back and front and that really is as simple as that something that I think is a must now so it's the third one I've fitted on bikes now I'm really impressed with them um, as you see in my van video I did where the geezer was right up my ass um, it was good to show it you know and you can't lie can they as I said before the first thing they say is speeding going too fast um, they didn't see you it was all your fault at least with a camera back and front you can now see someone coming up from behind you if they cut you up or knocked you over and from the front you can see them pull out to me it's a must and for 30 pounds 20 minute work job done go buy one right as i said updates let's find out what else i've done well it's not the bandit i'm sitting on i guess it's a sort of apology 600 phases SV650s, Honda Hornets, these Bandits, CBFs. I'm generally not derogative about them, but I haven't got a lot to say about them. I use words like, it's not like your world on fire, great Sunday morning rides, commuters. But before the old keyboard warriors get their warm fingers going, I've owned one for 15 years and it's the best bike I've ever had, bollocks. I don't want to hear it. Um, I have to say, I agree. They're not bad bikes. As you know, if you've watched my channel, I've rode an awful lot of bikes. Um, Jexas, oh wait, G Suzuki GSXRs. Keep getting moaned at for saying Jexa. Um, ZX10s and you know hypersport bikes, as it were, ZR1400s and stuff like that. Um, they handle and ride really, really well, extremely well. So when you get on one of these afterwards, it feels almost you've gone back 30 years to my first days of riding when I was in my teens. But it's not until you ride one for a little longer that you realise that they're not bad bikes at all. Uh, I had a Phase 1000 and bloody hell that went like stink. You get the old V-Maxes in your head as well, you know, and they are just point and go. And that's what I thought this was. First couple of times I've rode it, um, open her up. And I said this 96 brake, some people saying 118, 100 and odd. I mean, it has got a Yoshi exhaust on it. And bugger me, does it go? You do come to your, you do come to your first bend and think, Ooh. you know. Good set of tyres, nice warm day. These are great bikes. Um, normally I've seen the phasers and the, you know, the SVs are rode by young lads and the phasers, 600s, generally got a guy with a Floyd jacket on with a luminous helmet going, Arr. that's how I see him. And I overtake him. And I'm pretty sure when I overtake him, he's gone, knob. But <laughs> yes, that's the riding part of it. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I have to respect and say, sorry, I can't slate these bikes. They do go well. They do do what's on the tin. Um, and they are great for all weather bikes, touring or whatever. You know, you can slap some panniers on these and still ride miles. Um, I'm getting used to trolls now. I've got a few on my channel who like saying stupid things like I had a blanket in the back of my Jag and uh, giving it, you know, Dorothy business. And I'm thinking, actually, that was there for my wife after operation. I left it in the car. So, yeah, before you get your keyboard warriors out, um, I humbly apologise and say, these aren't that bad of bikes. And there you go again, not bad. They're good bikes. I have to say, they're good bikes. They do what's on the tin. They will light your world on fire, and they're what you want. So who am I to say any different? Just my review. And I've had many, many odd bikes now. If you look at my channels, I said, I've got a phasers on here, I've got um, a SV650 that was a friend's bike. Bloody planes going over every 10 fucking seconds. Honestly, I was living Heathrow. Well, I'll digress with the bloody planes. There you go, quick apology. Test ride, a load of bikes. And when you're happy with one, it's yours, isn't it? I'm actually going to go on this again today. I'm 
I'm sort of getting used to it now. I've clocked up probably 100 miles on this one now. <clears throat> and I found that we had a couple of warm days and I could really bank this bike over and give it some on the way out. It's a 1255cc engine in here anyway. Right, let's get back with uh, my latest video I'm doing now about these wheel nuts. Camera, while we're on the subject, oh, the sun's out, how nice. Quick look at the camera. Here's the front. too bad um, yeah I'm quite impressed it does look more like 1080 and 720 bigger little square camera on the back and a smaller one on the front obviously but that's a wider angle so much better and there we have it thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe and I'll keep making great videos <laughs> please check out my channel I have 400 videos on there lots of reviews of our bikes some early ones still good reviews um, like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourselves on the roads and enjoy the summer coming. Fuck off driving up and down all day long. <laughs> Muppet. Welcome to my channel. Prelude what's on today. A car drive by is really slowly. No. And a little sorry about moaning about phasers and bandits and saying they won't lie to rope on fire. Yeah, and I'm going to set up the same way on my Triumph Trope. Yay, my new ones came. These are 0.5, 1.5 should I say. Yay, my locking nut. Hi, Mark Savage here. Welcome to my channel. Over 400 videos. What's on today's... A little sorry about moaning about phasers and bandits and saying they won't lie to you. on fire. 
and a little sorry about bandits and phasers and <clears throat> okay. and an apology for me moaning about bandits and so on and saying they won't let, that they won't light your world on fire. That was hard to say. <clears throat> 